I'm making a Twixer tutorial as some people requested. Now um, I'm going to split this video into three parts. Uh, the first part is me showing you guys how to do the Twixer or how I do it. Um, and the second part is a quick tip for uh, timer mapping. The third part is uh, how to use track points and get rid of warps. I'm gonna leave the timestamps in the description so you can move between all the parts if you want to. And um, yeah, so what is Twixer? Twixer basically like adds uh, frames between the moving frames. So like this is a moving frame and then this, these are not moving as you can see and then this one is moving and so on and so on. So you can slow down your, uh, yeah, your clips um, if you want to. Now, what I usually uh, do is I begin with uh, pre-comping the clip by uh, clicking on Control, Shift and C. You'll get this and you want to select this plus the adjusted composition duration to the time span of the selected layers, then hit OK. Now, once you've done that, you want to open up the uh, timer map. So it's Control, Alt and T and you'll get this. Now, what you want to do is basically keyframe all the frames that move. So this frame moves, this frame moves, this frame moves. As you can see, it's just like that. And to move between frames, by the way, you can uh, click on page down or up to uh, move forward or backwards. And then I'm just going to leave um, my mouse on the keyframe button to just easily uh, go pretty fast through it. So I'm just going to speed this up real quick. Now, once we've done all that, as you can see, we have keyframed all the moving parts. You want to delete the last keyframe because we don't want that anymore. And now we're going to start moving all the uh, keyframes to the left. So every, may, every frame moves. So I'm just going to speed that up as well. Now that we've done all that, you can see that every frame moves now, but it's uh, sped up, of course, because um, there's no frames in between. But what we want to do, we want to go one frame after the last keyframe, split the clip, and then once again pre-comp it, just like this, and leave this on again. And now we can add our Twixer. So um, these are my settings. Uh, you can copy it if you want to. Uh, but uh, basically, make sure you have the uh, in FPS is out FPS turned on. If you don't have this because you have a different version of Twixer, then just make sure that the FPS right there is the same as your pre-comp. So mine is uh, 23.976. So make sure it is also on 23.976. Um, if you use that and if you would use 30, of course, make sure it is on 30. But I'm just going to leave this on right there. And now for the warping, this is pretty important. Now, most people have it on forward and that's probably the best option. But I think if there's a lot of movement or lightning in the screen um, or electric or whatever, uh, then I think you can use inverse to make that smoother and less warpy, but I'm not fully sure exactly. So yeah, you could experiment with it, but forward is the best. Now for the main background layer settings, I have it on a hundred, but um, yeah. So that's it. Now, once you've uh, yeah put Twixer on it, you want to pre-comp it once again. And now we can timer map it. So if we open up the timer map, uh, you can extend this as long as you want to. Uh, but of course, the longer you extend it, uh, the, uh, yeah, the more warps you'll get. So I'm just going to make it three seconds for now. But usually you don't really even use uh, three second clips in edits, but um, yeah, for this tutorial, I'm just going to make it three seconds. Now, if you want to, um, yeah, have it like right here, then what you want to do is move the keyframe one after the, uh, yeah, after where you want to end your clip and then just cut it. And this is the, um, yeah, this is the clip now. Now we're going to easy ease it by pressing F9, open up the graph editor and do some basic graphs. Now, uh, because this is a long clip, I'm I'm not making it that sharp, but if it's a short clip, I usually make it like way sharper like this. But um, for now, I'm leaving it on this because it's a long clip, as I said. Now I'm just going to pre-render it real quick and show you guys the result. Now that I've pre-rendered the uh, clip, you can see that this is the result. So this is pretty smooth, and um, this is also a pretty 
easy clip to Twixter because uh, it's only like her hair that's really moving. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good. And now I'm going to go over the time room map uh, tip and the uh, how to use track points. Now we're gonna go over the time room map part. And as you guys saw in the preview, uh, that is a pretty big difference here at the beginning. Um, now to fix that on some, yeah, some clips, what you can just do is grab the first keyframe a bit sharper like this, and then it'll get rid of most warps. But as you can see in this case, it's still, it's still pretty warpy. So to get fully rid of that, what you can do is, um, yeah, open up the timer map and um, see like frame by frame where the warp is. So this clip seems fine, but there's a couple warps. So I'm going to uh, put a keyframe right there, zoom a little bit in so it's easier. And I'm going to move it a bit up and down like this. When I move it up, almost to like the original frame. Then I'm gonna move one frame forward and you can see it's a big warp. So I'm gonna keyframe it once again and move it up till you see the uh, original like frame again. Go one forward and then do the same thing again. So by doing this, by going to the original like frames, um, yeah, you get rid of those warps. So let's do it again with this uh, keyframe. And let's see, let's see. Yeah, this is probably fine. And then what you can do, you can either just leave this or just time room a bit a little bit like this. And um, let's just pre-render this real quick and show you the result. And now that we have pre-rendered it, this is the result. And as you can see, it'll get rid of all the warps in the beginning. And yeah, it looks pretty clean as you can see. Um, so yeah, now we're going to go over the uh, track points part. And now we're gonna go over the track points and as you guys saw in the preview once again um, it looks way uh, cleaner like this part the tie and the sword right there look uh, cleaner with, uh, with track points and um, yeah usually track points are for minor details like this not for the big warps um, in my opinion well maybe it's a fact I don't really know um, but basically uh, to do the track points, what you want to do is go into your pre-comp and then open up the track points right there uh, on Twixer. Um, now, this may look a bit confusing at first, but it's actually really easy. Um, so yeah, we're going to go over it. So now I want to uh, uh, track point the tie first. And um, after that, I'm gonna do the, do the sword, but I'm just going to speed that up or like time lapse it, so you guys could just see how I do it without me fully explaining it, because I'm already explaining it right there. Uh, but just so you guys can see the difference. Now, um, I want to start uh, on this frame right here. Now, what I want to do is go one frame backwards. I'm gonna uh, uh, keyframe the use of the first track point and the second, because I want to use two track points for the tie. And then gonna go one forward to where we're gonna begin and uh, make it or like turn it from don't use to main background layer like this then also keyframe the position right now now we can open up the keyframes by pressing u on our keyboard and i'm going to um, position the first one like right about here and the second one like uh yeah probably right here in the corner our track points, uh, what it does, it basically tells Twixer to uh, focus on this part more. Uh, so it's less, yeah, get less warpy. And now with track points, uh, since it's moving to the left, as you can see, we want to put the track points uh, on the left side, not in the middle or on the right side, but just on the left, since it's moving to the left. Um, and now we can just uh, keyframe, um, yeah, put the, the track points on every frame. Now, keep in mind that you have to use the same track point for the same part. So this one's right there, right? So you can just put it like right here and this one right there. That will kind of mess it up. So make sure to just use the same 
keyframes for the same parts. Now I'm uh, I'm done with all the the, the points, and uh, since this lasts till the last frame, as you can see, uh, you can just leave it like this. But let's say it would end uh, a frame before uh, the last frame. Then what you want to do is put it back to uh, don't use. But as I said, in this case, you don't have to since it's already the last frame and you can go like one frame forward. So now that we've done all the track points right here, um, I'm just going to pre-render it real quick and see the result. And as you can see, uh, there's still a little bit of a uh, warp right there, but it looks already way better. Now, as I said, I'm going to do the sword as well, because right here it looks a bit um, yeah, warpy. And uh, yeah, I'm going to time lapse that. And now, as you can see right there, it got rid of the, uh, yeah, like one or two frame big warp. And it looks pretty smooth. And you can still see it a little bit, but in the edit itself, you won't notice that. So this is going to be the end. Um, I hope it helped out for you. Um, yeah, and if it did, you can follow me on Instagram or uh, subscribe on, YouTube, on my YouTube. And yeah, that's about it.